Let's, all right, let's uh, let's close up. Let's let's finish this whole thing with the SEC East. The Vanderbilt Commodores, six and seven last season, made a bowl game, three and five in the conference. Returning starters, they got seven back on offense, only four back on defense though. Experience returning is number one hundred seven in the country. Not it's good. number thirteen in the conference. Not good for a school like this. The over under is five. The juice for the over. Plus 175. Vegas does not think it is likely. The under minus 200, which also crazy juice. They think it's probably going to hit right on five, I believe. So, uh, Derek Mason. Um, actually, I think they're, they think it's more likely they'll hit four than, uh, than five. Derek Mason, 24 and 38 in five seasons. He always seems to be on the hot seat, but... He was awarded a contract extension in February, so he's going to be around for the foreseeable future. Quarterback Riley Neal, a Ball State transfer, takes over for quarterback Kyle Shermer. And listen, they, they got weapons. They got some, some crazy weapons. They got uh, Keyshawn Vaughn, who led the SEC with 7.9 yards per carry at running back last year. Wide receiver uh, Kalijah Lipscomb led the SEC with 87 receptions last year. Uh, look, they were... They were number 21 in yards per play, 6.3 yards per play last year, but number 94 in points per scoring opportunity. They only scored 4.3. You can have explosive plays, but you got to be able to finish, period. Um, look, it's their second year under their defensive coordinator, Jason Tarver. The defense improved from 31.3 points per game in 2017 to 26.8 in uh, 2018. They have not been big enough on the defensive line, but they're trying to fix that. They're bringing in a lot of grad transfers, a lot of JUCO kids, et cetera. They have to replace offense coordinator Andy Ludwig, who went to Utah this year. That's going to hurt them, I think. Um, they lose three offensive linemen. Vandy is good, but never great. And the SEC East keeps getting better. Mason, personally, everybody says out like inside the program that he thinks this is his best team that he's had since he's been there. I... We'll have to see it to believe it. I've got them at four and eight this year. The only wins I've got are, uh, let's see, Northern Illinois, UNLV, Kentucky, and East Tennessee State. Like I, I think they lose everything else. And how is this for coming out of the gate? Right, you got Georgia at home at Purdue, and then you got LSU at home after a bye week. Like that's that's zero and three right off the bat. And and they were used to building some momentum early. That's right. Like, remember, CBS uh, went to the Alabama-Vanderbilt game a few years ago because Vanderbilt was, it was like ranked. like 4-0, yeah, 5-0, something like, they, like that. They had just beaten Kansas State. Like, everybody thought, oh, this defense is... And then Alabama hung 59 on them and didn't yeah. give up a point. Like, I need to see it to believe it with this team. I like Derek Mason. I do, too. But I think you got to have somebody like a James Franklin, and you got to have the other teams in this division down for Vanderbilt to be really good. So so where I see things is different, and we, we've talked about this with other teams throughout doing this program and, and going through all these conferences and all these games, they got transfer guys. They got athletes. They got skill guys all over the place that might be his most talented. You know where they don't have dudes? They don't have dudes at the line. Yeah. And you can't you can't beat LSU, Georgia. They're going to blow your offensive line to pieces. They're going to blow your defensive Wait, line to, to here's pieces. Here's the thing. It, to, to compete with Ole Miss. I was, just about, with, I was just about to say, yeah. that, that's, that's the extreme – Florida's going to do the same thing to you. Tennessee, Ole Miss, Missouri going to do the same thing to you. Yeah. Like, everybody has def- decent, big, strong offensive linemen, defensive linemen. And if you can't win in the trenches and you're weak there, it does not matter how great of an athlete you got all over the field. It it just doesn't equate to wins in the SEC. Yeah. It, it just – this is not how it works. I got them three and nine, and – and I think it's going to be tough. I, I'm I'm glad he got his money. I'm glad he got a contract. And I think he can build. What I do think Derek Mason can do if they'll be patient with him is every three years have they, one they of those really teams good. that, yep. you know, you get an offensive line, you get a defensive line, you get some skill guys, and they all kind of grow together and you build this thing. And then now we're going to make a run. And maybe not a run at the SEC, but a run at seven, eight wins. Yeah. Nine wins. Yeah. And, and, and just – be relevant and compete and beat your rivals. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, so I've got them four and eight. What you got them? I got them three and nine. Three and nine. I, that's crazy. I gave them. Uh, I gave them more. Credit you gave them the Kentucky. Did. Yeah, yeah. I certainly did. All right, that's going to wrap up the SEC East. 
If you're watching on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button for us. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, whatever it is, hit subscribe. If you're on Apple Podcasts, leave us a five-star review. Write in something nice, something witty. We might read it. We might read it on the air. We'll see what happens. Um, But yeah, share the show out for us. We'd appreciate all of the support. Head over to tunicatravel.com. Check out what sport book you want to travel in town and go to. uh, And we might meet you there. You never know. So we appreciate everybody. We will see you guys next go round. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.